Hello everyone, during one of my successful dumpster dives I acquired a few of these servo drivers with servo motors made by Parker but the problem I had was to connect to it and that port COM1 is used to connect the PC to the servo drive and program it for different operating modes. As you can see they're sold and price is pretty steep for a cable for what it is so the other solution was to make one. In this video I'll show how I make it and how I was able to actually use it. So on a computer screen it's a Easy Rider software open and I'm trying to connect to the drive and it shows a diagnostic successful. Yay! It took few attempts to get it to work just right. Over here you see the plastic insert that goes inside the metal housing of the connector that holds those uh, connecting pins and uh, this iteration of this project was not successful because I got the size the dimensions wrong for my next attempt I was doing everything by the book and measuring things and it did pay off in the end And now it's ready for a test fit. Let's see. It goes in nicely and out nicely. In and out. Wow, you wouldn't believe how nice it goes in and out like if it was made for it. I'm very proud of myself at this point. But what is this fancy connector? It's nothing more than a cable that uses RS-232 communication protocol. In this example of a serious cable with female and a male connector on it. It's a straight through pin out, which means pins on female end of it match pins on a male end of it. They're sold in electronic stores. The other type of cable have female to female connectors. And usually these cables have a letter designator C, which means crossed wired. For our purposes, we're only going to concentrate on pins 2 and 3, and in the following illustration we'll see how uh, pin 2 of one connector is connected to the pin 3 of the second one, and vice versa. Here we can see the cable that I made completed and soldered, and I soldered it just like the Parker description of the cable suggested, and it turned out that it wasn't correct. At least it didn't work uh, right away with my USB to serial converter. And I didn't feel like redoing the whole thing. I just left it the way it is. And I'm going to use that R232C cable to cross crisscross pins 2 and 3. To be able to do that, I will need a DB9 gender changer. And I'm going to use that female to female cable, crisscross cable, connected to USB serial adapter, and open my settings on the computer. Even though the Easy Rider software suggests these settings for the RS-232 communication protocol, but I never heard of a start bit until now. So I just used a regular 8 non 1 uh, set of parameters and it worked out okay for me. The latest version of Easy Rider software is downloaded from the Parker support website. In the software we choose the correct communication port and then try and diagnose the state of the servo drive. Sure enough, it's working. Next, we're gonna try and play with some tuning of the servo driver. And to do that, we need to enter level two password. Then we're gonna choose the correct motor that we, uh, that we have connected to the servo driver. After that, the auto tuning procedure will take us through uh, several steps of tuning process in which we could adjust 
our gain settings as well as PID settings to get the best performance. This motor has a 64 to 1 reduction gear attached to it so we can't really see the shaft spinning too much. At this stage of the process I am not going to change any gain or PID settings because I don't really know much about them. When I learn something I may make a separate video just about how to tune up the servo motor for this servo drive. So please put in comments what you think and if you want to see more I will try and accommodate. Um, other than motor tuning there are also options to choose from for the operating mode of the servo driver. Well, we're gonna choose position control. There are also options for input and output assignment and much much more. If you saw something interesting today or learned something please put like and don't forget to share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a good day.